This is not just rare, it's unprecedented. The newly discovered interstellar comet 3I Atlas isn't only capturing the attention of every giant observatory on Earth. Now, the two greatest space telescopes ever built, James Webb Space Telescope and Hubble Space Telescope, are locking their gaze on this one cosmic target. Two telescopes, two very different eyes. One piercing deep with infrared vision, the other slicing through the universe in ultraviolet light. Yet they share the same goal. To strip away the layers of mystery surrounding 3i Atlas, it could be something beyond imagination, something far beyond the limits of human understanding. And that's exactly why we must explore it. And yes, that includes the possibility it could be artificial. Perhaps an alien probe, or even a wandering rogue planet. Basically, the mysteries remain. The questions keep piling up, and we must find the answers. That's when the most powerful telescopes in the world step in. On August 6, 2025, the JWST officially locked on to 3I Atlas, carrying out its first observation using the Near Infrared Spectrograph, NIR spec. This marks the beginning of a months-long research campaign aimed at uncovering the object's chemical composition, activity, and true origin before it reaches perihelion at the end of October. Specifically, on October 29th, 3I Atlas will reach perihelion, the closest point to the Sun in its orbit. What makes 3I Atlas extraordinary is that it doesn't follow a stable orbit within our solar system. Instead, it's simply passing through at a tremendous speed, over 60 kilometers per second, fast enough to escape the sun's gravity after it departs. This is the third confirmed interstellar object ever detected entering our solar system. At perihelion, the comet will travel inside Mars's orbit, closer to the sun than ever before in its journey. The intense solar heating will cause its icy surface to sublimate producing the glowing coma and bright tail typical of comets. After October 29th, 3I Atlas will continue its voyage, making its closest approach to Earth on December 19th, 2025. For James Webb's the mission is clear. To search for volatile molecules such as H2O, CO, CO2, and NH3, establishing a chemical profile before 3I Atlas experiences the full force of the sun's heat, and then comparing it with post-perihelion data in December. The James Webb Space Telescope is renowned for its ability to capture the universe in infrared, revealing the most distant and ancient scenes ever observed. But this time, turning its gaze toward the interstellar visitor 3I Atlas has yielded equally fascinating results. With its ultra-sensitive infrared eyes, JWST has detected clear signs of water ice, carbon dust, silicates, and even complex organic compounds on the object's surface. Astonishingly, these molecules may have been frozen in place for over 7 billion years, predating the formation of our solar system itself. Thanks to NIR spec, JWST has, for the first time in history, recorded the complete spectral fingerprint of an object born around another star. The chemical composition, activity level, and even the behavioral patterns of 3I Atlas have been documented in unprecedented detail. These findings will not only help scientists better understand the formation and evolution of interstellar objects, but could also reveal traces of a journey across the galaxy. In fact, 3I Atlas may be carrying ancient organic compounds, potential missing pieces, in the story of life's origins, star formation, and planetary development in the cosmos. This could truly be a once in a millennium opportunity for humanity to touch the deepest secrets of space. Millions of miles away from James Webb, the Hubble Space Telescope has also contributed its own unique perspective on 3I Atlas. On July 21, 2025, when the interstellar comet was about 277 million miles from Earth, Hubble captured a stunning image. A teardrop-shaped cloud of dust escaping from its solid, icy nucleus. 
because 3i Atlas is traveling on a hyperbolic trajectory, meaning it will only make a single visit to our solar system before leaving forever. The background stars appear as elongated streaks in the image. This effect comes from Hubble tracking the comet's motion, allowing astronomers to study its features in greater detail. Unlike James Webb, which probes the deep universe in infrared light, Hubble uses visible and ultraviolet wavelengths to monitor the gas and dust clouds surrounding the comet's core. The results reveal a faint, ghostly coma stretching tens of thousands of kilometers across, enveloping a tiny nucleus just a few kilometers wide. This phantom shell is the telltale sign of material vaporizing as the comet approaches the Sun. From the collected data, scientists estimate that 3i Atlas is shedding material at a rate of between 6 and 60 kilograms per second, depending on the size of the dust grains. These measurements further highlight the unusual nature of 3i Atlas's composition. There's one detail that makes this event truly unforgettable. For the first time in history, the world's two most powerful space telescopes, James Webb and Hubble, have both turned their gaze toward the same target. The millions of miles separating them are no obstacle. These two giants of astronomy have joined forces, focusing their full observational power on tracking 3i Atlas. This not only reflects the extraordinary level of scientific interest in this mysterious interstellar object, but also opens up a rare opportunity. By combining James Webb's deep infrared data with Hubble's razor-sharp visible and ultraviolet imagery, scientists can construct the most complete and detailed picture yet. And one of the most surprising discoveries from this joint effort is the comet's bizarre tail direction. In ordinary comets, as they approach the sun, solar radiation heats the icy nucleus, causing volatile materials to sublimate. This forms a surrounding cloud of gas and dust, the coma, which is then pushed away from the sun by solar radiation pressure and the solar wind, creating a tail that always points away from the sun. Typically, comets have two tails. The dust tail, formed by dust particles pushed away by sunlight, usually slightly curved along the comet's orbit. And the ion tail, made of ionized gas molecules blown directly opposite the sun by the solar wind, following the interplanetary magnetic field lines. In short, a comet's tail never points toward the sun. But 3i Atlas defies this rule. Observations show that part of its dust is actually oriented toward the sun, completely opposite to a comet's normal behavior. Scientists suspect that these dust grains are much larger and heavier than those in typical comets, making solar radiation pressure too weak to push them away. Instead, they may be influenced by other forces, such as gravity, aerodynamic interactions within the dust cloud, or even the unique internal structure of the comet's nucleus. This strange phenomenon only deepens the mystery of 3i Atlas and raises a crucial question. Is this a hallmark of an ancient interstellar comet or evidence of a completely unknown physical process in objects from beyond our solar system? Another key finding involves water ice, a fundamental component of comets. Water ice has indeed been observed in the composition of 3i Atlas, but here's the twist. It doesn't seem to follow the rules of time. Why? Observations suggest that this ice has been preserved for over 7 billion years, older than the solar system itself. Some analyses even claim to have detected the spectral signature of water in 3i Atlas's spectrum. However, Avi Loeb, professor of science at Harvard University and a proponent of the hypothesis that 3i Atlas may be alien technology, argues the evidence is far from conclusive. According to him, even after analyzing the data, some scientists have drawn firm conclusions without solid statistical backing, simply because those conclusions align with the traditional view that 3i Atlas is a water-rich comet. In a recent paper titled, No, There's No Clear Evidence for Water Around 3i Atlas, Loeb presented a strong counterargument against the water detection claims. He examined data from two earlier studies supporting the idea that 3i Atlas 
contains abundant water and pointed out flaws in their methods. In short, the current evidence is still far from conclusive when it comes to confirming the presence of water on 3i Atlas. More direct measurements are needed rather than inferences based solely on assumptions about the color of cometary dust. Following previous discoveries, one of the most intriguing aspects is 3i Atlas, unusual trajectory. Unlike many interstellar objects that enter our solar system at a steep angle, 3i Atlas is traveling almost perfectly aligned with the ecliptic plane, matching the orbital paths of the planets. On its way in, it moves right along the solar system's main highway, and after passing close to the sun, gravity will bend its path, accelerate it, and send it off toward another star system. Remarkably, during this journey, 3i Atlas will fly past Venus, Mars, and Jupiter in sequence. The odds of an interstellar object randomly passing close to these three specific planets in a single trip are astronomically low, about 0.00005. Adding to that, its orbit is inclined by only about 5 degrees from the ecliptic plane, an exceptionally small tilt compared to most interstellar visitors. This raises the question, is this pure coincidence or could it be a deliberate trajectory? The mysteries don't end there. Observations have recorded another paradox. The dust and gas cloud around 3i Atlas is far brighter than models predict. Yet its nucleus appears much smaller than what would normally be required to generate such intense activity. This discrepancy forces scientists to ask whether that brightness is truly just sunlight reflecting off dust, or if it could be coming from some other energy source. Right now, space telescopes are monitoring 3i Atlas closely. The next major milestone will be October 29, 2025, when the object reaches perihelion. At that moment, if 3i Atlas begins releasing gas and dust, James Webb's spectrographs will be able to determine its composition and perhaps answer the ultimate question. Is it a natural comet or something artificial? And if, at that very moment, it suddenly performs an unexpected maneuver, speculation about it being a form of technology will only grow stronger. In the end, all of this makes 3i Atlas one of the most mysterious objects ever to visit the solar system. With more than two months to go before it reaches perihelion, there is no doubt that plenty of new data and heated debates will emerge. One thing is certain. The infrared eyes of James Webb and the sharp vision of Hubble will not miss a single detail. And the world is waiting to find out whether the answer lies in nature or in a technological enigma from far beyond.